Why are Indians so obsessed with Western culture? Decoding the facts. How did we become so westernized? Why did we start forgetting our roots? Let's understand through some facts. Number one, incorrect history has been taught in our schools, which talks about how backward ancient India was, and the invaders gave us better education and made us civilized. They taught us English because we had no language to speak. But the reality is, to rule India, they educated few people from upper and middle classes. That is, Indian in blood and color, but English in taste, who would act as interpreters between the government and the public. This was also called the downward filtration theory. If you teach these things to school kids, will they ever be able to love or respect their country? Think about it. But the fact is, India was way ahead of its time in terms of education, Vedic science and technology, architecture, literature, etc. For example, the first person to perform surgery was an Indian physician called Sushruta. He is also known for his notable work in dentistry, gynecology, and human anatomy, etc. This work is compiled in his text called Sushruta Samhita, as shown in the image, which is currently stored at Los Angeles Country Museum of Art. Let's take second example, Baudhayana. What is known as Pythagoras theorem today was already found in Baudhayana's Sulab Sutra, which was written in 800 BC. Rishi Kanada invented the laws of motion and atomic theory 2000 years prior to Sir Isaac Newton. There are hundreds of many more examples like Aryabhata, Charaka, Mahavira Charya, etc. Why we don't even know anything about this? Because we were busy learning about the Great Wall of China. Moving on to fact number two. Bollywood categorically destroyed and brainwashed this whole generation by changing their thinking and mindset. If you notice closely, most of their cinemas promote fair skin. Why do they show that the poor people are always dark skinned and the rich people are always fair skinned? Why do we think that being dark is not acceptable? Fact number 3. We still study that Vasco da Gama discovered India. The question is, how can a person who came to India in 1498 in search of spices discover India that is 8000 years old? Moving on to fact number 4. Our ancient education system called Gurukuls, whose origin dates back to around 7000 BC, was so advanced that they had covered subjects like astronomy, mathematics, Ayurveda, philosophy, political science, Arthashastra, Yoga, Dhanurveda, that is Warcraft, and most importantly, moral values on how to live a cultured and disciplined life, which were based on collaboration over competition, where everyone was considered equal. So to eliminate this, Britishers came up with a new system that made Indians competitive by destroying their creativity and accepting the slave mentality. A system by which Britishers could easily rule the Indians. And they succeeded. Indians started looking up to Britishers as superiors. So this is how they destroyed the Indian education system by setting them on fire, imprisoned or killed the gurus, making one of the most literate nations illiterate. To add on to this, statistics show that between 1765 to 1938, the British looted property worth about $45 trillion from the nest of the golden bird called India. And this was used by Britain for the development of countries like Canada, Australia. Fact number 5. Our traditional dance performances like Bharatanatyam barely get any audience compared to Justin Bieber. Why? Because no one would tell you the interesting things about Bharatanatyam. Like this dance form is an art, science and mathematics. Yes, it's a permutation and combination of cardinal numbers and symmetry very similar to yoga. I would say this inferiority complex that most of the Indians have was a well calculated move by the Britishers. In the process of modernization, we have forgotten our roots. Being western and modern are two different things. Think about it. If you want me to come up with the next part of this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Please share this video with maximum people and let's do our bit in countering the fake narratives. Jai Hind!